What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with a new PC build. So you guys seem to love the PC builds. It's like one of my most popular videos right now almost at 40k views which is insane so today we're building another pc and if you guys follow me over on social media you know what happened to my little corsair 2080x i had to do some upgrades so basically i just built a whole new pc and this is all the parts that we'll be using today Ooh, ooh, ooh. you guys might see the price position the all white rtx 3080 which i'll be reusing in this build but we upgraded the cpu the fans the power supply the motherboard all this stuff so the, tr the reason why i chose these parts is because i like to work with like at least two brands at max when it comes on to pc builds i hate having tons of different software installed so i went with like a corsair and an asus build even though it's in the leon lee case i really wish that they had different um case competitors for leon lee with that open all glass case like somebody needs to build some more cases but yeah i went with the rog strict z490 motherboard all white so this is a really good motherboard. I like the aesthetics of it. Has some decent IO um, ports and everything. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. So I had to cop this TP-Link USB Wi-Fi um, adapter. I don't really use Wi-Fi. I always use LAN cable, but it's nice to have Wi-Fi access on your motherboard. And for the GPU, we have the ROG Strix 3080, all white, you know, the holy grail. Then we have the i9 10th gen. I wanted to do something with AMD, but everything is out of stock. So I had to get the i9 10900K unlocked right here. Really good. And it's gonna be great for streaming and also gaming. Not the best with um, video editing and everything, but it's still a good, it's still a good value. Next up, we have the 32 gigs Corsair Dominator ROM right here. Really good. 30 600 megahertz and the effects just looks amazing i love this ram probably one of my top three favorite rams of all time then we have the corsair ll120 fans rgb fans you guys know how much i love these fans even though it's giving a little bit of trouble right now with the corsair iq software and everything it's it's a really good fan it looks nice i really like the effects that it has on it next up we have the corsair rm850 power supply and this power supply is a beast will probably hold up for the next two to three years i don't really have to upgrade the power supply so that would do good last but not least we have the rog strix llc 360 rgb aio all white cooler and man isn't this thing beautiful imagine if it had an lcd screen that would be even more insane but i just liked how everything looked with this one i feel like the new corsair arm um, coolers isn't that cool enough i mean it looks all right, but I just don't really like the Elite Capelix. I think the ROG Strix LC360 looks better in my opinion. Even the Leon Lee cooler looks kind of decent, but I just wanted to go with all Asus. Um, hopefully, I'll, I tried the NZXT one with the LCD screen, but it just didn't look as good in my build. I know I could switch out the sleeves and get white sleeves and everything, but it was just not my cup of tea. But yeah, you guys know the deal. We're gonna go through the PC building montage. After that, we're gonna test the PC, play some games, look at the temps and all of that. So for you guys, grab your popcorns, grab your drinks, and let's have some fun. Let's go.
All right, the build is complete. Everything looks amazing. I love this entire setup. Personally, I like it. Let me know down below in the comments. I know this case is overused, but there's nothing else I could find that looks like this, you know what I mean? I love the um, open glass design it has. And also, I would just wish this black trim here was white as well to give it that all white look. Also, the motherboard. This motherboard from ASUS does not have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So just make sure you guys know that before purchasing. But yeah, we're gonna play some games. We're gonna play a 2K resolution on the Alienware 240 Hertz QHD monitor. So yeah, that would be a great test to see how this next gen card and CPU perform. But yeah, let's have some fun. Watch the temps. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, during Cold War RTX on 1440p max settings, it was struggling especially since I was recording with Streamlabs on the highest quality guys. So yeah, I was getting like 30 FPS, all of that stuff, but when I switched off my Streamlabs and start um, playing again at max settings RTX on 1440p. So what you're looking at right here guys is the raw performance of the graphics card and the CPU without using Streamlabs to record. So yeah, I was getting roughly 108 to 120 FPS, which is amazing. So just keep that in mind guys, whenever you see me do these reviews and I'm recording with Streamlabs, it kinda hits on that GPU um, and CPU with the FPS. So yeah, hopefully you guys understand. Yeah, you can hear me? Oh, an OG. What the fuck? all right now that's gonna be it for this video and if you made it this far comment down below arizona i just want to see who actually made it this far 
end of video but yeah i love this entire pc build guys let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe as well i'll try to leave all the parts and everything down below in the description for you guys but yeah that's been it hopefully you guys enjoyed as always love peace and tweaks signing out